All right, so <clears throat> what's good, y'all? It's another one of that say so gang. Hey, today I had to come and talk some real shit to y'all about the workforce in modern day society. Um, specifically a nine to five is what I'm talking about. Um, I recently had like an epiphany of basically like I just realized that working nine to fives are really a means to an end for me um, personally. Um, I've realized that, you know, I have been thinking about where I have been going with the status quo with my people, my family, the world telling me or, you know, how they tell us, like, you go to school, you graduate, you get a good job, you climb corporate ladder type shit. I'm making this video because I've realized that that is just not the case, especially not in today's age, especially for millennials and Generation Z. Y'all, public service announcement, all black men especially do not feel like you got to work just to be accepted or to be a man. And when I say work, I'm not meaning you ain't, you ain't got to make no money. You got to make money. You got to put food on your table, your family's table. You got to make sure that you take care of yourself and get to your goals, etc. I ain't saying that. What I'm saying is a nine to five is not suitable for everyone. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been raised to think that like the way that this goes, like like some bees, like the movie Bees, honestly, like we've been raised to just be workers and shit. Like, and the reason why I'm saying I said black men, especially or men of color, especially is because we've been taught and raised that we got to work twice, three times as harder as our white counterparts just to get the same recognition or whatever. I'm sorry, but I'm not fucking with that. I'm not getting ready to continue to think like that. That is a slave mindset. Um, this is something that we have to unlearn as people. If you decide to continue to work at a nine to five, that's fine. I'm not telling nobody that a nine to five ain't for them because for some people it is for them. I'm saying this for all of the men that have a hard time with keeping one after even about a year or so. Like I'm not talking about lazy niggas who go to work for a week or a month and then they quit a job every three months and they got another job. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying understand that who you are, what kind of worker you are, or what kind of person you are as far as making money. Um, there's other ways to make money nowadays. There's Instacart, Grubhub, Uber, you name it. You can make money off of an app without having to work for any employer. You don't have to be nobody's slave. Um, you can get into content creating, YouTube, OnlyFans, etc. Like, start a podcast. Like, there's many ways to monetize your hobbies and your passions. Me, myself, um, personally, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I recently quit my good-ass A1 9-to-5 government job, okay? Because I've been working there... A over a year now i just reached my year mark and with the raise and everything i got it just was just seeming like i could just i could tell that i was giving more of myself than they than i was getting out of that um particularly y'all after about a year and you're still having a hard time like getting up every day like and it's not even like a steel thing at one point i was cool with getting up at the same time every day doing the same shit every day, re repeating the same cycle every day for five days a week and only being off two days. I had got accustomed to that. Like, it was nothing after about three, four months or whatever. But then, like, after longevity sits in and you realize, like, oh, shit, like, this is it. Like, if this is going to be it. Like, if I don't do something else, if I don't take a risk and jump off that motherfucking, you know, bridge or that, that, that hill or whatever, I'm not going to know what I can be what I could potentially be on my own without a nine to five. 100 y'all. Um, it's not in our nature as human beings, in my opinion, to get up and do the same shit every day for five days a week, eight hours a day, and only have two days off. 
because when you get off on those, you know, it's easier said than done. People will tell you, oh, you got to utilize your time wisely. You got to do this. You got to do that. Man, I'm trying to tell you, you get off of work doing that shit every day. You're going to be drained after a while. You ain't going to have no energy to do nothing else. Okay. It's going to make you feel like you don't have a fucking life, especially if you're trying to juggle a relationship, friends, have a social life, have a fucking life. You're going to have to eventually make a decision on that nine to five. Um, I see now why a lot of guys, they'll go do a nine to five for a good six to months to a year, quit, file unemployment, collect that and do a side hustle until they decide to go get another job if they have to type shit. Also, why niggas got roommates, why niggas, you know what I'm saying, they stay with their people, stack up money to buy a house, because the way that they got this shit set up out here now, y'all, as high rent than got, they got it to where these nine to fives will literally keep you as a slave, because you're going to have to pay that rent every month, especially if you're living on your own, okay, and this is for people that don't have other resources like trust funds and social security or disability or whatever the fucking case may be. When you really got to do it on your own, you ain't got no parents help. You don't come from money. I understand where y'all coming from because I can empathize, even though my situation isn't exactly like that. Um, I am glad that I've had the ability to realize that being a slave is not being a man. Like we've been taught that, like I know niggas who I've even felt like getting up Fuck y'all, baby called me. I done lost track of where I was at in the conversation. I'll get back to it, but um, yeah, excuse my hair, by the way. It's all, you know, messy and shit. Babe likes me with my blowout. He likes me to have my shit long. He likes that shit, so unfortunately for me, I won't be able to go back to waves or, uh, you know, with do-rag wearing and shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyway... Yeah, I had got to a point where I was realized I started feeling like it wasn't even about the money. It was like, I don't need this job. I have hella bread stacked up. I got all these other resources and other ways of income. Y'all, like, I did not need the job. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also have a boyfriend. Not going to say that you're supposed to depend on, depend on your spouse, but... Y'all, that's a whole nother point of being in a relationship is to have some a companion and a partner that you don't have to bust your ass like you a single fucking person. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I was just working. I just was realizing that, like, I'm only doing this shit because I felt like that's what a man was. Like, I felt like you had to work. Like, even if you had money, you had to work, like. I didn't want to, I didn't want my nigga getting like, oh, you getting up and you're not going nowhere. You're not getting, you're not going out working every day. I don't want to get, I don't, I didn't want to irritate my dude. I didn't want to irritate myself. Like with thinking that I had to do some self-reflection and realize, and after talking to him and he was just like, he was like, hell no, I quit that shit. Like, don't be just doing shit just because you feel like you need to work as to be respected by me. Because at the end of the day, as long as you providing for us, we good. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, other things that I had to self-reflect on, I realized that, you know what? We got to unlearn some shit because working these nine to fives will make you miserable as fuck. And you won't, you will literally not realize that that is why you don't have no friends. You ain't got no life. You ain't got no fucking boyfriend. People always think that it's about you know, everything else. I'm not saying that other things can't be a play, but I'm just saying everybody does never look at their job as the reason why they don't have other things that they need in life. Like they're sacrificing their wants and their, really their low key needs as well. And their pleasures and their life to just get a check every uh, week or two by this place that don't give a fuck about you. And if anything happens, you get sick or anything happens, they will replace you and you will be asked out as opposed to making money for yourself, working for yourself, being independent. And then you're able to you're your own boss. You get to work when you want. You get to make as much as you want when you want to. You get to make them decisions on your own. You ain't got to listen to nobody tell you 
bullshit. Like, stay off your phone. Like, it's 2023. Who the fuck is not going to get on their phone eight hours straight of the day? Like, all these rules that don't actually even mean nothing. What does that mean? If you don't, if you get on your phone sometime throughout the day, does that necessarily slow your whole work day down? Does that necessarily mean you don't do your job? No, it doesn't. But they make you think that because they can control you because they feel they bank on the fact that you need them to pay your fucking rent or your bills every fucking month. So they think they can treat you and talk to you like a slave. That's the reason why half of y'all or half of us have had issues with our bosses or supervisors and shit because these motherfuckers abuse their authority. They think that that you need the job. They think that they're better than you because they make more than you. You go through all this shit while you also have a personal life that you go home and deal with shit with. And it just, it, it, it depresses and it causes a lot of depression and anxiety in a lot of people. I'm here to address that shit. Especially us as a smaller demographic of people. A lot of people will not tell us this because they want us, they feel like if you at the, if you in a small demographic of being gay and black, you most likely poor, you most likely got to do whatever the fuck you got to do to make some money and whatever the fuck somebody tell you to do, they look at you like you less than. I'm here to say, just like them white men, just like them white women, just like every other demographic, you have the right to focus on yourself and put your mental health and your emotional health first, just like the next, okay? You will not be shit, y'all, trust me. You will not be shit. Pushing all your needs and your well-being and your feelings and shit to the side and your peace to the side just to get up and go to work to this damn place every day that will replace you if you crash, nigga. If you wake up one day and you just can't fucking do it because you sick or you didn't you didn't you didn't you didn't got hurt or something, they will replace you like it ain't shit. Do not sacrifice your well-being, your personal life yo peace for no job y'all straight up that's why i say it's a means to an end a nine to five is a means to an end to me i will work those motherfuckers when i'm bored of not working or when you know shit didn't slow down on my craft or whatever and i just decide i want to go back into the work field and then i'm gonna hop the fuck back out i'm never about to sit up here and be thinking to myself with goals anymore to climb a corporate ladder no more i will not do that to myself like nah i'm gonna focus on my crafts me getting credit right buying a house y'all do your research you don't have to have certain shit that you think you need to buy a home and live comfortably without having to work for somebody nine to five do your research y'all all right, you don't have to be a slave just to get by. There's other ways that you can make it. And if you need to, don't feel bad having to go back home to stack your bread up. Um, don't feel bad about having to, uh, for all of all of my niggas who used to live on their own like me, don't feel bad for having to go get a roommate or something temporarily or whatever, just so that you can save money and time and, and spend your money on shit you want. Go on vacations when you want to. Having to, Instead of having to ask these motherfuckers, can you go somewhere with your own money? Trust me, y'all. PTO, all that shit is nothing. They not giving you half of what you deserve when you get up in these motherfuckers. Go into their establishment and make all this money for them while they give you pennies. You are literally... Most of us, when we go into these places, we are the motherfuckers making most of this company's money just to get a, the smallest check while you passing it up to the motherfucker who own the company. That's their dream, not yours. Focus on your dreams as well. If you are going to do a nine to five, focus on your crafts as well. Like if you have not gotten a YouTube or a OnlyFans or you haven't gotten yo Instacart, Grubhub, Uber, uh shit on your phone yet and you you know you ain't got there yet or you just started and it's just picking up revenue you know keep your job for a minute come up with a plan to quit in like six three to six months where you can stack up enough money to where you can quit do your craft still have enough to pay where you lay but then you don't have to get up every day miserable going into a company 
that you don't fucking want to go to to make money for another motherfucker who don't give a fuck about you. All right? Put yourself first. Know that you also, as a human, as a worker, as a middle class, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself, lower class, whatever, you still deserve to have a life. You still deserve to sleep at night. You still deserve to get up and have energy to go into wherever you're going to make money. You deserve to be happy doing what you're doing. I know a lot of us have started off happy in these places and then ended up not happy no more. Because to be real, human nature is not made for that. We was not born and put on this earth for us to get the fuck up every day and go into a place and make money for some motherfuckers while you take a, a $1,500 16, $1,800 check every two weeks, if even that. Because after taxes and shit, y'all know how the fuck they do you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this whole system, this is some bullshit. Yo, we got to become clever to uh, get our way through this motherfucker and also caring about our quality of life at the same time. We abandon our quality of life too much in this community. And then you realize why you ain't got no motherfucking time and no energy to deal with no nigga. You ain't got no time and no energy to go out and have fun with your friends. You think you motherfucking an introvert and that you antisocial, but really, you just have motherfucking no energy to not to do nothing. A lot of us really have thought that we just don't want to go out. We come up with these excuses. People invite us places and we turn them down because we just too fucking busy knowing that we got to go to this goddamn job at 7 or 8, 9 o'clock in this fuck in the next morning. The weekend come, you can barely enjoy it because as soon as Sunday comes, you know you got to go to work the next fucking day. It just kind of ruins and puts a damper and a depression, this dark cloud over everything after a while, y'all. I don't know if I'm if I'm the only one or what. Like, comment, show y'all's relatability, but I hella peep this shit. Ever since I quit that job, I've been so happier. I've been so free. I felt so much more uh, in tune with myself. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the point, y'all. We be raised on that mindset. And what we don't realize what we do is, why are you still working this job at this 9 to 5? You still have a life that you're going through shit. People are dying. You're losing friends. You're break, You're going through breakups with niggas. You're getting ghosted. You're going through all kinds of shit. Your car is fucking up. Whatever the fucking case may be. Why are you still dealing with the stress of this job? Okay? Then you just keep going because that's what the world told you to do, especially as a man. You know what I'm saying? The world tell you as a man, nigga, suck that shit up. You keep on going. You crying like a little baby. You come home complaining about your job. So what do you do? Eventually, you stop venting. You stop talking about the shit to people. You continue to go to work every day thinking that that's what you're supposed to do. And then now six months done went by and something happened four months ago and you ain't did shit about it. You ain't focused on it. You ain't dealt with it. You ain't reflected on shit. You ain't had no time to work out, focus on your body, meditate, do nothing. All you've been doing is, is go, get, going to work, getting off, probably taking a nap, or probably smoking, watching TV, watching a movie, playing a game, going and hooking up with somebody, and then you're doing the same shit because you got to go right back to sleep doing the same shit over and over again. So anything that happens, you don't fucking deal with it. You just push it to the side. And I'm going to tell you right now, you keep that shit up and you're going to fucking crash. In human minute. moments, all of a sudden, we tripping. We sensitive. We ain't this. We ain't that. I'm trying to tell you, that movie, um, They Clone Tyrone on Netflix, check that shit out. Because that shit had a lot of subliminals in it that is real, pertaining to what I'm talking about. All right, and um, yeah, y'all, that's all. This is just a, a mental health um, quality of life video. Focus on that shit. Y'all are important enough to have enough self-love to know that you are deserving of it and have enough self-love to know that you are not to be held of a standard that no one else is just because of your skin complexion. All right, so straight up, that's it for this one. Cause Kelzo say so, I'll see y'all next time.